Uh, my name's Aaron Graveson. Uh, essentially, I'm a coach of Roma under 15s, but I have a lot of other job roles uh, within that. Uh, I'm a goalkeeper coach, I run the tournaments, I book the home pitches and referees, uh, I help anyone out, I'm head of coach development as well, uh, help any coaches that need any kind of pushing somewhere or if I'm sending them so many drills, anything like that. Um, mainly just all that, but first and foremost, uh, I'm a coach. So uh, I'm basically going back to the other question of I uh, missed out about how I got involved with the coach. Yeah, I played for Hetton Juniors. Uh, we missed a goal keeper and I went in goal and it turns out it was pretty good. So I stayed in goal. Um, and then I kind of left, came back as a player and then I started coaching. Uh, when I, I was at a different club, I left and uh, I came to help my friend out, uh, Connor Wallace, who helps us with the Roma team. So we did that and I got started to uh, do some goal keeper coaching one time because the person who paying was injured. So I said yes and I enjoyed it. Um, and from then we've kind of, I kind of built it up from three kids. We had about sixteen last year, and the club thought it would be a good idea if we made it a club thing, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Um, and now, basically, when they pay their subs every month, that's free, and uh, the club will pay me to do it every Tuesday or Thursday, depending on dates, um, to coach the goalkeepers in a small group, so they get that extra, extra bit of training on the goalkeeping side because it is hard for coaches to incorporate the goalkeepers, which isn't really fair, but. Well, if anyone else makes a mistake on the pitch, it's uh, <clears throat> there's, a, there's another ten or if you're nine side, another eight others who can and clear, especially the goalkeeper. That goalkeeper drops one, makes a mistake, that's it. It's, it's more than likely going to lead to a goal. You need to be focused. I think as a goalkeeper myself and a goalkeeper coach, I can give that specialist training that none of the other goal, uh, coaches are probably qualified to give. Um, in all due respect to them, so it is nice to have that along with my sister, who's a goalkeeper at the club. So kind of passing another torch, but not not quite yet. <laughs> Um, enjoyment of this age and make sure they stick in. Uh, under 15s, it's that level where they're almost ready for college or go to get jobs, apprenticeships. They'll be thinking about the future now, um, GCSEs especially, uh, and, the, and well-being now. It's a, it's a big difference going to school, so I want to make sure that they're safe, but also I want to make sure that they've got something that can take my mind off the stress that's going to be coming in the next two or three years. Uh, I want them enjoying it. I want them, I, I'd like them to win at that age. It is, they do want to win, but at the end of the day, as long as my team having fun and performing well, uh, I'm happy. I can, I can take a loss. Uh, at the end of the day, people aren't showing up and not trying their best. That then that is a bit annoying. But I've got a good set of lads there now. Uh, Sixteen of them, fantastic. Some of them from the very start. Some of them from a couple of years ago. Some of them from last year, and some from the first game of the year. Um, mm -hmm. So <clears throat> all from the majority of the Hetton area, which is fantastic to see, they all go to school together. That real bond, I think, keeps them. Probably that no, probably the commitment uh, is in on the pitch. There's no, no die, no, no taking no attitude. They die on the pitch, you know. Um, got a good set of players who can play, pass the ball. I think football played in the right way, but we can mix it up. Uh, I think the team spirit is fantastic in there. Uh, I think Jack Barrow from the under 18s would agree that key for all the ones are uh, if, if team spirit and having that fighting and that no die because you know when hard work pays it works when talent doesn't at the end of the day. So I would, I would say that got some fantastic players uh, no doubt around the but in the day it's a it is a team sport and I think you need to have that commitment level on the pitch as well as off the pitch. Talent when you know when yeah. you kind of get, when someone is better, someone's always going to be better than you. So you've got to work harder than them, in my opinion. I think you've got a core set of people who work hard uh, for the club to succeed. I think you look at the, I'm just going off the top of my head from the main people. You've got Chris Hughes as the chairman, who's done a fantastic job. Uh, Steve Gilbert, the secretary, also done a fantastic job. Both of them combined. Uh, Faye Robson. The treasurer, uh, keeps the finances needed, keeping on top of all the time. She does a fantastic job. Welfare, Connor Wallace and Lindsay Stevenson. Carla does fundraise, and then you've got me, like to me and Jack, who do the adults team, who do the, the tournaments, and who do uh, the, the community side of stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to help out any way I can. Uh, anyone needs us, I'm, I think I jump at the chance to help anyone. Uh, it, I think there's a family base because a lot of people have played for Hetton Juniors, from dads to brothers who have now got children of their own, I think that's what also helps, because nobody wants to see the club go, and I was in a, I was in a, a very bad position not a couple of years ago, and through the hard work of certain people, um, and the whole of the club to a, to a certain degree, 
we've got it as one of the best clubs in the uh, in the northeast, if not the cut. Uh, so I, th- I just think there's a family feel. There's that was where I played. This is where my son, my daughter, now uh, can now play. I think we want to look in the, in about ten years' time is where can my children play or where can my like nieces and nephews play, etc. So it'd be fantastic there. Just keep it as a family club. Uh, we want to make it as big as possible, but the links with CNS has probably also helped because you see from two year old all the way up to the new adults team of what can what Hedden can give. Uh, as I mentioned, the adults team, myself and Jack, uh, worked hard to get that going. Uh, the first game is Wednesday, uh, and we've had a few bumps in the road. My goal is supposed to have them in the in the Wayside League, the Premier League, the top division, and then we can go from there. I couldn't tell you where to go after that, but my team is just have a solid head and adults team where people can support on a Saturday afternoon. Uh, as terms as a coach, I would like to go from the UFB. Uh, the club have been very passionate about getting us on that. Uh, not been so lucky as, as of yet, but we're going to keep trying. Uh, that would also further my career as a as in a job in the sense of a PA teacher and an academy coach. For me team, I'd like to just keep going. Well, say we're at that age now where people might want to start dropping off. I want to take them into under seventeen, under sixteen, under seventeen, under eighteen, and then under twenty threes and adults. I want I want to be playing alongside some of them when they're old. When they're older, I want that kind of passing of the guard, if you will, to where my lot take over when I'm too old to play, um, which is a long time yet. So. <clears throat> but that's, I think the goal for the club as a whole is just to keep growing, I think, not to a certain degree where we can't handle it, but just keep things in the right place. What can we do with this Hetton facility? Uh, the likes of this, how can we get people to do some camera work? Can we promote the club better? Uh, personally, I would like tournaments to be massive. I want like rides there. I want uh, magicians. I want I want the whole shebang. I want the bigger burgers. I want football penalties. I want bouncy castles. I want 11 aside tournaments, which we haven't done, 9 aside tournaments, which we haven't done. We've done the mini soccer, but how big can we make them? Can we make them two at once? How much, how much money can we create so we can provide better facil- equipment and facilities for the, for the younger ones coming through, like say a two year old? Can we, get, can we get to a point where we can buy everyone a strip, you know, just a nice little top so when everyone goes well, Hetton Juniors is a community and a family club, as I've mentioned. I say that the people like Chris, Fear, Steve, uh, Victoria, and Wallace, Lindsay, and uh, Jack, and myself uh, have done a fantastic. Uh, have always put a hundred percent in. I think there was a lot of other people who I, I don't mean to miss out, but I think they do. We do a lot of the work, and I think I just want to thank all them really and say well done. Uh, it's been a pleasure coaching my head juniors, and uh, may long may it continue. Amazing. Cheers. Yeah, that was class.